Hello everyone, this is Mubarak Ali Khan. I hope all of you are enjoying good health. Respected listeners, today I am here to talk about vocabulary items. Uh, that how you can get up your vocabulary. I'll talk about exactly what are the things you should do to improve your vocabulary items. And uh, if you are like this person, uh, searching into dictionary so much, and uh, maybe you have a magnifier and you're just looking as odd as he is this video is particularly for you you will learn that what you exactly have to do to learn the vocabulary fast well in this uh, particular video I'm going to talk about three basic things number one I'll talk about some basic tips and techniques you should know um, that if you really want to boost up your vocabulary or you want to gear up your vocabulary so these four or five techniques will uh, help you on the other hand i will be giving you 50 50 50 50 vocabulary items which will have your this level to this level for example if you have if you're trying to appear in ielts test or maybe you're a regular uh, language user uh, and you want to improve your language style you want to improve your speaking you want to improve your reading writing and listening all these four modules will be uh, geared up by these 50 vocabulary items which i will give i'm not wasting any further time let's go into it let's take a look how well how good can we do this so yes the contents of the presentation today first of all importance of vocabulary i sometimes say one thing that uh, the vocabulary is just like salary um, for example a person is earning 20,000 and the next person is earning 1 lakh they both have their kitchens they both have their rents bills utilities etc and they both are managing it but the one with 1 lakh may be managing better than the 20,000 so that's a difference which you have to accomplish which you have to understand and which you should know that maybe in the job you cannot jump from 20 to 1 lakh but uh, in the vocabulary uh, not in the salary in the vocabulary you may be able to uh, jump it on so there should be no restraints you should not refrain yourself with that you should keep going with that so yes this is that important like the vocabulary is basically like a salary uh, if you want to enjoy that or if you want to even make it to that extent where uh, you are not a spendthrift not a miser but you are an intermittent and you're enjoying that so yes this video again for those and then I'll talk about tips and tricks to improve your vocabulary as well as I'll talk about the 50 vocabulary words towards the end so why do you have to watch this or uh, what difference will it make or why vocabulary is important so first of all if you have good vocabulary it will improve your speaking it will improve your listening it will improve your writing and it will improve your reading as well so the starting with the tips and techniques now first of all note taking if I'm speaking a good word and you're listening to me it will be just gone it will be it will be flown away why because you don't have a proper check of it later on maybe you're impressed with the vocabulary items I use but the later on when it was your time to produce it to show it maybe you couldn't do it why because the spoken words fly while written words stay so whenever you're listening to a good vocabulary item you have to write it with you but there are many people who had been writing it with them and they have forgotten to write it and then maybe the diaries are gone or then they are not improved so on the other hand um, it is not only the word you have to write it is basically the word with the context every word is context dependent um, for example let's take an example of the word bank okay I can use the word bank in different ways and you may look into it and you may think that yes the same word is being used differently uh, for example let's say it's, it's summer in Pakistan and I say it's getting so hot inside let's go to the bank well that is a different bank and that is basically beach or the river bank or when I talk about um, my cell phone is out of charge and I need a bank now this time this is basically going to be your power bank and then I say my daughter is ill 
and I need to go to the bank to arrange some blood. This time I am talking about the blood bank. Or maybe the Prime Minister has strived so hard to improve his bank. This time it became vote bank. At my house there are many books so that I could call it a bank. It can be a book bank. In my mind there are many words so that I could call it a bank. Maybe it's a vocabulary bank. So something like this, you see one word is being used differently and I can still use it more differently but I don't want to give some lengthy examples. So yes, the words are used in context. That is also known as context dependent word. Okay, these are known, also known as connotative words. There are some denotative words which are dictionary dependent and there are some connotative words. But mostly we have uh, connotative words in the regular usage. So the second tip is basically whenever you are using uh, right for example you are writing a word then do write the sentence not only list them you see if you could see over here it's not only no listing note with the sentence so that you know that how to use that exactly and then selection of the word relevant okay um, this is also known as semantic field specific kind of words are to be put for example if I'm talking about um, food and then I say scrumptious, delicious, mouth-watering, and I can say epicurious. Um, such kind of words are basically into the same semantic field. So you have to understand that which specific word is to be put and which specific. Uh, where is the relevance basically you need to understand that. For that I would say you should search for synonym words of the same word. And for that I would uh, request you to download a uh, dictionary that is Merriam-Webster, M-E-R-R-I-A-M-W-E-B-S-T-E-R, Merriam-Webster is a good dictionary. You should download it and you will get uh, pronunciation as well, for example, it speaks, as well as you will get uh, some synonym words as well, so it will help you in that case too. And then it comes to the teach the word. You know, uh, when we listen, we forget. When we write, we remember. But when we teach, when we teach, that's the perfect knowledge which we gather. You know, the teaching is the best learning method. So teach it to someone. Maybe you just post it at your Facebook or at your, at your WhatsApp. You just say that word of the day. You just do it. Or maybe you teach to your, if you have children, do it with them. If you have some, some, some youth in front, just do it with them. Maybe teach to anyone. But you teach it so that you don't forget it. It's better for you. And then uh, the, the most uh, problematic area which we have in all sorts and that is basically this consistency. We are not consistent in the work which we do. Like every day if you have made a plan, for example, you say that I will learn three words every day. So you do it for first day, you do it for second day and then for the third day it is delayed, for the fourth day it is forgotten and for the fifth day it is somewhere gone. So I would request here that you have to be consistent throughout. And it should be the task of every day so that there are no problems at all in this. Uh, every work which you do should be consistent. And if you're not consistent on that, surely. So stopping my lecture here, let's go into the words and which you really should learn. So the first word is basically to amend. There is phonemic transcription for you in this. If you could not understand the word somewhere, so you can read the transcriptions if you know. On the other hand, I would not try to speak like natives because we are living in the world English is now. It is not that you require to speak some specific words like them. Um, it's fine if you speak in your own style. That's not a problem. So I'll try to be uh, an easygoing person with you. I won't be speaking the words which are somewhere so an anonymous to you. The words will be known to you. Just take a look. The first word that is to amend. It is basically to change maybe a law a document or a statement for example would you mind to amending those documents I have sent you word number two to balloon balloon like it's a, a metaphorical word as well to suddenly swell out or get bigger employment rates ballooned to 90% or maybe the corona cases ballooned to 10% and then the next word is to blab to blab. To blab is to tell somebody information that should be kept secret. To blab. 
someone must have blabbed to the police someone must have blabbed to the police all right let's move on the next word is to clasp to hold something tightly in your hand i hope it's shown in the picture as well you may get it better to hold something tightly in your hand she clasped her hands together as she waited the next word to clutch to hold somebody or something tightly it's like that i clutched on to his shoulder for support yeah i clutched on to my motorbike to make it run more faster oh some th somewhere if you think that it's getting boring you may pause it and you have this opportunity but i'm recording it so i have to just keep speaking it next word is to collide to collide um it can be to disagree strongly uh it also can be uh, if if you take a literal meaning of it it can be an accident it can be uh, it can be uh, an accident it can be to disagree strongly how my partner and i often collide over political differences for example one is supporting some democratic and the other is supporting some liberals or maybe pmln or pti so such kind of things you feel but one to crave the seventh word is to crave if you have these words added into your dictionary or added into your repertoire or your knowledge i bet you uh, you will be able to speak well and you will be able to score high in your ielts to have a very strong desire for something is basically to crave for example you could see the people are putting the status craving it, it it is sometimes for the food or now it's mostly for the food i have always craved excitement she had shown her daughter the love she craved the next word is to dash to dash to dash to go somewhere very quickly to dash i must dash it was lovely to see you well different words in different areas have different meaning okay if you could have used this word in urdu to dash you are a dash now it is a slang over here if they want to skip the abusive word they put a dash in that so it can be that too word number 9 uh it's a sin which is so common that is to eavesdrop to eavesdrop i hope you could pronounce with me to eavesdrop to listen secretly to what other people are saying to listen secretly to what other people are saying you could see in the picture we caught her eavesdropping outside the window we caught her eavesdropping outside the window okay she started with the eavesdrop and then she ended on the back biting that can be the example the next one is to escort to escort to go with somebody to protect or guard them or to show them the way let me escort you to your room as i shown in the picture let me escort you to your room and a cute child it says to glare and also known as to glare to glare or to glare if we go it exactly it should be to glare it is stare in anger you stare in anger she didn't shout she just glare at me she didn't shout she just glared at me the next word is to gravitate i think it is from the gravity to gravitate to move towards somebody or something that you are attracted to to gravitate many young people gravitate towards london in such of work example many young people gravitate towards london in search of work i hope it's clear so far let's keep moving the next word is to ignite the word is to ignite to start to burn or to make something start to burn something provoking this man was able to ignite a fire that wouldn't dim 
this man was able to ignite a fire that wouldn't dim. The next word is perhaps uh, an interesting word and that is to saunter. To saunter. To walk in a slow relaxed way. For example, your parents have sent you to buy something and you went to the market and you wanted to waste time over there. So you will walk like this. She, saw, she sauntered down the corridor looking as if she had all the time in the world. Like she's fully free. She has got nothing else to do. So that is to saunter. And the next word is to slump. To slump. To slump. To fall in price. Value. Number. It is also, it, it, the other word for this can be uh, plummeted. To slump or plummeted, plummeted down. It is for this suddenly and by a large amount. Profits have slumped by over 12% this quarter. Profits have slumped by over 12%, 12% this quarter. Let's keep moving. I would request you to note these words down so that when it's your turn, you could speak it somewhere and you can surely talk about it in detail. Let's move on. The next word is to stumble. To walk or move in an unsteady way. Almost fall. I stumbled around in the dark trying to find the light switch. I stumbled around in the dark trying to find the light switch. I would appreciate if you could make some sentences by your own self. The next word is to yank. To pull something or somebody hard quickly and suddenly. To yank. I yanked the door open and ran outside. Yank. I yanked the door open and ran outside. The next word is to zap. To zap. To zap. To do something very fast. I will zap through the report and get back to you. I will zap through the, do the report and get back to you. I will zap through the report and get back to you. The next word is to yearn. To yearn. To yearn. To yearn. To want something very much. Especially when it is very difficult to get. I have always yearned to escape from office life. In your case, I have always yearned to escape from college life, school life learning atmosphere and interesting word now and the most important one i would say that is flummox 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 that means to confuse to confuse he was completely flummoxed when the teacher asked him a question he was completely flummoxed when the teacher asked him a question The next word that is astonished. The next word is astonished. Very amazed. Greatly surprised. This is what it means. A short sentence. He was astonished at the change in him. He was astonished at the change in him. Yes, over here you have time. Take your time. If you think that you are learning them best, I dare you a challenge, I give you a challenge to use almost 6-7 words from these 21 words which are being given to you and you should write a paragraph, you should use those words in that, you should inculcate those words into that, it will be better for you, you will be really learning it, otherwise it will be again just, uh, what do we call, a listing again, so it won't make any difference, it's better to watch this video in chunks and try learning two three words a day and just keep going with those words practice those words the next is furious the word furious the word is furious having strong feelings about something that you dislike 
having strong feelings about something that you dislike very much. He was furious when he learned about it. He was furious when he learned about it. Um, the way you have the series, Fast and Furious. It's just like that. The next word is conscious. The word is conscious. The word is conscious. Conscious. Knowing or realizing something very aware or you're mindful of something. I'm conscious. Although I was in pain, I was unconscious. And the opposite of this will be unconscious. Let's move on. If you are still struggling to understand that, I would request you to go for word formation process. But how do we make words? You will find different methods in that. You will learn it even more better if you know the word formation process. The next word now is deplorable. The word is deplorable. It is deplorable. Unpleasant. Full of problems. Very bad. Awful. Miserable. Or rotten. Deplorable. The deplorable fuss after the great dinner was so scary. For example, you are you're on an iftar party and you have seen, you have taken your iftar and your dinner and you could see uh, the portrait that how it looks, the kitchen and, and where you were sitting, the dining. So that is deplorable. Uh, perhaps the girls understand it better. The next is rudimentary. 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 Very basic. Simple. Primary. Fundamental. Rudimentary. He received a rudimentary education. He received a rudimentary education from his village. The next word, as exquisite. The next word, exquisite. The word is exquisite. The word is exquisite. That is very beautiful. Gorgeous. Stunning. Magnificent. You may keep making your own sentences. I'm just giving you a clue. Or a demo. She wore an exquisite dress which left all the guests staring in surprise. Let me come again. She wore an exquisite dress which left all the guests staring in surprise. Word number 27. My numbing mind numbing uninteresting tedious dreary uninteresting tedious or dreary mind numbing i don't like mystery and mind numbing puzzles i don't like mystery and mind numbing puzzles the next word is dazzling the word is dazzling people say dazzling as well Full of light, very bright, blinding or radiant, dazzling. He shielded his eyes against the dazzling or dazzling declining sun. Shielded his eyes, perhaps um, it can be with some goggles, glasses. 29. Fastidious. Next word is fastidious. The meaning very careful, scrupulous. You may look into the meanings or the synonym words, it will give you more words perhaps. Very careful, scrupulous, meticulous, meticulous, fastidious, fastidious. She dressed with fastidious care. This is not a very good example. You may give a good example though. The next word, the 30th word, that is compassionate. Very caring, kind and attentive. I allowed him to go home on compassionate grounds. For example, if I'm a policeman and I, I found someone driving without the license, but he says that he's in hurry and he shows me a bottle of blood 
and he says in hurry I just forgot my wallet at home or maybe my driving license at home so on the compassionate ground if I'm allowing him to go home or to go to the hospital so that is on compassionate grounds if I explain all these it will take quite long so let's not do it fine so I think um, these are the 30 words you should use in your day-to-day -day life it will help you improve your what do we call your speaking your writing your reading and your listening but if you're still curious to know more I have 20 more words for you and these are going to be a little plus one than the previous words it is specifically for those who aim to appear in OET or PTE or Duolingo or language search or exactly into the IELTS exam or if you're writing some thesis or something it may help you in that too moving on the word is zealous 31st the word is zealous committed passionate sincere or devoted zealous she was more zealous in performing her duties I think the picture supports the word here zealous the next word is optimistic the next word is optimistic synonym positive confident and hopeful positive confident and hopeful I have written it on the slides and I'm showing it like this so that there is no problem the next word and uh, the sentence for this is she appreciated her friends optimism in the face of the difficult situation of the face of difficult situation let's move on with this the next word is acrimonious 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 look at the picture now you may get the idea acrimonious oh bitterness harsh bitterness harsh it, sh it shows the teachers by the way the teachers acrimonious words made his student uncomfortable or the other way the students acrimonious reply made his teacher uncomfortable since I'm a teacher myself so I cannot listen much about teachers the next is vitriol 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 harsh criticism after Alina's fight with Sara she spread a vitriol about what a terrible person she is it's so common by the way the next word is vicious 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 synonym is evil wicked evil wicked they were the victims of a vicious racist attack they were the victims of vicious racist attack for example calling a black person a nigger or a negro no that is vicious comment vicious remark avoid this the next word is livid 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 that means and that is exactly anger or angry angry after sitting in the airport for nine hours Sarah was livid when she learned that her fight would be delayed another six hours after sitting in the airport for nine hours Sarah was livid when she learned that her fight would be delayed another six hours interesting though let's keep going and do not forget to keep having an eye on the pictures which are there at this point I would like to appreciate Mr. Sangeen and Miss Saika uh, who actually prepared these slides for me and uh, they presented it to me and then I am trying to make it in front of you so uh, give a thumbs up to Saika and Sangeen good job guys number 37 accommodate the next word is accommodate the word is accommodate 
and the synonym for them is for this is oblige assist help or maybe giving someone a ride or helping someone the teacher said to the student i'll try to accommodate you by all legal means but i'm afraid i won't be able to help you to cheat in the online situations there are many students who are disturbing their teachers getting a test from some english teacher and giving the test to some ex english teacher and then they're trying and they're asking for the help so it are those as well the next word is sociable sociable so the name for the word is friendly hospitable friendly hospitable being a sociable person alina loves entertaining the next word is generous generous the synonym is open handed big hearted and kind he is a very kind and generous man he always buy things for the poor people generous and the next word is jovial the word is jovial meaning cheerful happy friendly he was working hard to seem jovial by the way the jovials don't have to work hard they are jovials the next word is adore the word is adore the word is adore love cherish admire he's always been surrounded by people who adore him he's always been surrounded by people who adore him this is not good for health by the way next blissful joyful happiness dreamy we spent 3 blissful weeks away from work in the pandemic the teachers specifically are so blissful well i won't speak much on this the next word atrocious atrocious just seven more words after this atrocious cruel evil brutal terrible cruel evil brutal terrible murder is an atrocious crime murder is an atrocious crime the next word is console the word is console console comfort soothing comfort soothing we console him for the loss of his beloved son we console him for the loss of his beloved son and the next word fallacy fallacy misconception misbelief error it is a fallacy to assume all poor people are uneducated it is a fallacy to assume all poor people are uneducated adjacent adjacent the next word is adjacent to those who pronounce adjective i would say pronounce it adjective the word is adjacent synonym nearby near this road is adjacent to the highway this road is adjacent to the highway the next word is vague vague unclear general lacking details he was so vague in his recommendations that no one knows quite what he was suggesting 
He was so vague in his recommendations that no one knows quite what he was suggesting. Perhaps the last slide I have and this torture is coming to an end now. The next word is hoard. Hoard. Stock. Store. Or reserve. Or save. Many people were hoarding goods during Corona pandemic lockdown. That's real. Many people were hoarding goods during Corona pandemic lockdown. What about those who don't have money to hoard? Think about them too. The next is prolific. Prolific. Productive. Creative. Creative. Productive. She's a prolific writer of novels and short stories. Prolific is basically a colloquialist colloquial word with the writer quite often. She's a prolific writer of novels and short stories. And my last word that is captious. Captious. Also known as captious. Captious. That is fault finding or critical. Fault finding or critical. Captious is a person who always points out the faults of her friend. I would recommend all of you to do not try to translate the language or the vocabulary item into your native vocabulary item. For example, if you can speak Urdu and you are trying to translate these English words into Urdu and then you try to use them, you will take them quite away. You won't be able to tell the exact gist of the word. So that's why I haven't translated these words I would request you to try not to translate these words and use the words as it is and you have three words as a homework which you should try to find the meaning by yourself and if you know if you could do it then it's better to make sentences of that as well the first word is uncouth the word is uncouth uncouth the second word that is that is monotony the second word is monotony monotony and the third word is laboriousness 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 well it comes to an end thank you so very much for patient hearing I'll see you with some other lesson some other day if you have any query you can send it in the link down here or you can uh, comment i'll surely help you and if you could feel that i have done any mistake do highlight that and uh, i'll try to learn from you in that way thank you so very much for patient hearing bye bye